Hello and welcome back to the Movie Memo Recaps. Today we are going to recap a 2010 action mystery directed by Philip Noyce starring Angelina Jolie. Keep alert spoilers incoming. It's two years ago in North Korea where CIA agent named Evelyn Salt is being tortured accusing her of espionage though she denies. Later on Ted Winter comes to pick her up as they reach terms to exchange her for another North Korean prisoner. She asks Ted why they rescued her since the protocols were that once someone gets captured they leave them and Ted tells her that it was her boyfriend's influence named Mike. It's present day in Washington as Salt watches Mike who is working on spiders. Since he is an arachnologist and tells her happy anniversary, he jokes about cooking for her and kiss him, but later on Salt is now at her workplace trying to fold a napkin before Ted interrupts and they chat for a while before they set to leave as it's close to the end of the workday. Suddenly another agent comes to tell them that there's a Russian defector who has come to give them information. Salt and Ted decide to move back so that they find out if he has any useful information and neutral. Scans get set to detect if he is lying and Salt moves in to interview him. He tells Salt that his name is Orloff and he has cancer and Salt wonders as the neural scan confirms that he is saying the truth. As Salt wants to go for her anniversary and wants important information, Orloff proceeds to tell her a story that in 1975, during the Cold War, an Olympic wrestler fell in love with a woman and gave birth to a child, but the child died malaria shortly and was buried, but in reality the child was not. Dead as he was kidnapped by a man who had plans of espionage and kidnapped children of American families, replacing them with Russian children that had been trained to be sleeper cell spies with hopes of restoring Russia's dominance one day. These agents are called K-12s and they are myth, but he says that there is one agent whose mission is to kill the Russian president while on his visit the following day to attend the U.S. vice president's funeral, as Salt wraps up the interview that he has no important information and stands to move out. Orloff says that the agent who would be killing the Russian president is Evelyn Salt herself. The neural scan confirms he is speaking the truth as her fellow agents put her aside in a room, but she tries calling Mike though his phone is off. Peabody and Ted send her to another room as she tells Ted to check on Mike he might be in danger. Orloff is being escorted, but while inside the elevator he fights both agents and kill them. The news reach the other agents who report to Ted and Peabody, but Salt is watching them as she waits in the room knowing she is in danger. Orloff is seen on the camera as he leaves and Ted orders for the hunt of Orloff, but Salt has also moved out to escape. She starts to find her way out, but the security gets tightened as all possible ways get closed as well as the elevator getting turned off. Salt gets an extinguisher and start to block all the cameras, but she is now cornered in an interrogation room where she starts to prepare some chemicals based on her training. She blocks the last camera with her pant as they check her information and most of her training is of high class. She starts to mix some chemicals as she talks to Ted on a call who persuades her to give in so that he helps her. She makes an improvised explosive device and as the agents get ready to break in, she falls. <laughs> and knock them unconscious to move out and get a gun. She breaks a window and move out to start running on the street barefooted as Ted and Peabody decide to move to her apartment. She gets a taxi and try Mike's phone again, but it's still off and break her SIM card. She walks to her apartment carefully and move inside her room looking for Mike everywhere as her dog shows her a fallen chair and his half-eaten sandwich to confirm he is in danger. The CIA has reached as Salt packs her bag to leave, taking with her some spiders though the agents are now in her apartment. Peabody goes to the window to check, but Salt hides behind an AC and later crawls to another apartment with a young girl inside. Peabody says they need to take her down as the protocols say, but Ted defends her that maybe Mike is in the danger for real. Salt gives the dog to the girl and change her clothes as she recalls how she met with Mike for the first time. She is now out, but Ted recognizes her, and the chase begins again. As she runs down the subway, but the agents won't let her out of their sight, she runs back to the street, but Peabody notices her to chase her towards a bridge where they know it's a dead end, and when they seem to corner her, she pretends giving up, though she suddenly notices a truck and jump to escape from the agents. The agents get cars to chase her, but she jumps onto another truck as they they notice her to wait by the bridge, and when Peabody attempts to shoot her, she jumps onto a semi-truck. <laughs> 
The chase proceeds, but when the truck stops she falls off to start running as the police chase her, but she suddenly steals a motorbike and drives through the traffic as the agents chase her, but suddenly manages to outmaneuver them and escape as Ted and Peabody decide to inform the Secret Service about the whole situation. Salt is now at the bar where she attends A to her wounds and steal a coat with to move on to a bus heading to New York as the news announced that Russia's president is already in America. Salt recalls Mike and when he told her that works for CIA but he is not safe since now her enemies know him though Mike seems strong. Salt later checks in a hotel using an ID from the stolen coat and move up to steal clothes before moving to her room where she sets her weapons and ejects spider's venom before tracking the cathedral across and get the blueprints of of the subway before dyeing her hair. In the morning the people are ready for the function as Russia's president arrives. Though Salt is in the crowd, Ted seems to see her, but not sure as the security seems tight everywhere and now Salt is in the subway train where she creates a smoke diversion to jump out of the train. The funeral has now began in the cathedral as Russia's president arrives with Ted checking the security. American president is giving his speech as Salt is down in the tunnels where he fights two agents. To move up as Russia's president moves to give his speech, the agents have been alerted to start checking everywhere as Salt fights other agents and distract the speech before throwing an explosive to blow the floor where Russia's president was standing causing him to follow in the crypt below her. Peabody is coming as Salt shoots the president and by the time when he arrives she gives in herself despite having a chance to shoot him first. They escort Salt outside and her to police who drive her away as Peabody wonders why she never shot him. Inside the car Salt gets her timing and eject both her guards and stun the driver to wreck police cars in front and behind him before she drives over the guardrail into the streets below. She unlocks herself and escape amongst the crowd to get a cap and move on a ferry boat as she recalls how she was recruited into the K-12 after her parents' death in the accident. The news is covering the death of the Russian president and riots are happening. In Moscow, as Salt moves to a scrapyard to meet Orlov and embrace him, it is revealed that Orlov is the one that recruited her and trained her to be a Russian spy and welcome her home. They get onto a boat and head to a badge that acts as their base of operations where other spies are and the next mission is to seize nuclear weapons. Onto moving down the hull of the ship she sees Mike being shot dead as a test to see if she reacts, but she stays still though she is emotionally hurt and after convincing them she gets introduced to other brother spies who she recalls after Orloff giving her the next mission where she will meet another spy disguised as NATO officer she drinks with him and break a bottle to stab him and kill him. She gets grenades and throw them in other sleeper agents and shoot the other remaining killing them. All and look at Mike's corpse to remember their wedding. A car has arrived to bring Schneider who she recognizes as one of her fellow classmates and tells her the mission is to kill the American president inside the White House. They reach the checkpoint as Salt is disguised as Major Bishop and they get checked thoroughly before they proceed inside where Ted is on the security details of the president. Schneider pushes her and moves towards the president to blow himself as a suicide bomber, but luckily the president gets saved to move into the elevator heading down to the banker. Salt runs upstairs to remove the fake latex skin as Ted leads the security on the president towards the bunker, but Salt moves down towards them. She gets inside the elevator shaft framework and start to jump onto different floors as the security is now out of the elevator. Salt slides down as the security moves inside the bunker, but she fights some guards and manage to get inside before it closes. In the bunker, the president is raising the terror alert in the country to DEFCON 2 as Russia is apparently deploying their nuclear weapons in retaliation for what they see as an act of war. Salt is coming as Ted looks critically at everything going on and some cameras are now off. Salt gets into another fight. As the president confirms the coordinates to authenticate the missile launch, Salt is seen on the CCTV and agents move out to attend to her, but Ted suddenly grab a gun to shoot the other agents, leaving only the president, and it is now revealed that he is another Russian spy just like Salt. He hits the president to change the attack options as Salt gets shocked and approach him to ask why he didn't tell her he was part of K-12 though he launches to attack Tehran and Mecca. She begs him to let her in and join him and he seems to be accepting but the news report that the Russian president Salt shot didn't die as she only used the spider's venom that paralyzed him to look as if he was dead. Ted wonders and revealed that he never trusted her when she returned from North Korea and it's why he told Orloff to kill Mike. 
Ted's plan is to kill the president and launch the missiles, but frame Salt afterwards, which enraged Salt to attempt shooting him from the bulletproof glass. She sees the access box to the next door and goes to it on the other side. Meanwhile, Ted is getting the launch done by carrying the unconscious president to get his fingerprints. She turns off the camera and fire her gun at the wall and then rewires the box so that she can get into the bunker conference room. She's in and shootings begin followed by a fight as the launch is only missing authentication. When Ted wants to finish the process, Salt hits him as the Secret Service comes in, but Salt jumps to remove the computer plug to stop the launch, though she gets shot. She has a vest tense unharmed, and she gets escorted out, but Ted disguises as a good guy, and when she notices him on the stairs, she jumps toward him, wrapping her handcuffs around his neck and jump over the balcony to strangle him and leave him dead. She gets escorted outside hurriedly to be handed to Peabody on a helicopter, and after a while angry Peabody asks her why she killed Ted, and she replies someone had to. She tells him that Ted was a Russian spy Oswell and had his mission to launch the missiles to hit Tehran and Mecca. She convinces him that she had a choice to kill the Russian president and Peabody Oswell, but she never did, meaning she's changed and no longer a K-12. Peabody receives a message confirming Salt killed Orloff, hence undoing her cuffs to let her escape and hunt other Russian sleeper spies. She jumps into the Potomac River and later run through the forest to hide bringing the movie to the end. Thanks for watching. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe for more of these recaps. Until next time, have a nice day.